and their mascot is Ralph the dog. I don't know how you get a dog from a horse. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to dive into the world of the Canadian Football League for my beginner CFL fans out there. We're going to introduce you to each CFL team. A quick little brief intro to what the CFL is. And if you are new to the CFL or just curious about what it's all about, this is definitely the video for you. So let's get started. Before we do, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notifications bell so you guys can stay up to date with all of my latest content. Let's dive into it. So starting off first, what is the CFL? The Canadian Football League is a professional sports league in Canada consisting of nine teams that compete for the prestigious Grey Cup Championship each year. Established in 1958, the CFL has a rich history and very passionate fan base across the country. The Grey Cup is awarded to the league's champion and is one of the oldest trophies in North American professional sports, dating back to 1909. The annual Grey Cup event is a major Canadian sports event, drawing huge television audiences and a huge week-long celebration in the host town. The league season takes place in early June each year and spans 18 regular season games with the Grey Cup game culminating in mid to late November. So now giving you a quick run around on the nine CFL teams. First up, we have the BC Lions, which are based in Vancouver, British Columbia. The Lions have a very deep history with the CFL with six Grey Cup championships under their belt. Their team colors are orange, black, and white. And they also just recently revamped their jerseys with a fog colored away jersey. We'll put those up on the screen so you guys can see those brand new jerseys. Their mascot is also Leo the Lion. And another fun fact about the Lions, they play their home games in beautiful Vancouver at BC Place, which is one of the only stadiums in the CFL to boast a retractable roof. Next up, we have the Calgary Stampeders hailing from Calgary, Alberta. Stampeders are known for their strong performances on the field, boasting eight Grey Cup titles. Their team colors are red, white, and black, and their mascot is Ralph the Dog. I don't know how you get a dog from a horse, but hey, I'm not the decision maker here. The Stampeders play at the iconic McMahon Stadium, which has hosted several Grey Cup games. Next up, we have the Edmonton Elks, which are based in Edmonton, Alberta, are another powerhouse in the CFL with 14 Grey Cup championships. And usually they are forced to be reckoned with. Unfortunately, they've been having some tough seasons in the past few years. And as of late, they have lost 17 consecutive home games which is a Guinness World Record. The Elks team colors are green, gold, and white, and their mascots are Spike and Punter, if you ever see them around at Commonwealth Stadium, which is where they play their home games and is one of the biggest stadiums in the CFL. Now, given that this team is also in Alberta, their huge rivalry is with the Calgary Stampeders in the Battle of Alberta. Continuing towards Midwest Canada, we have the Saskatchewan Rough Riders in Regina, Saskatchewan, and they have a passionate fan base known as Rider Nation with their four Grey Cup titles, the most recent being at home in their home Grey Cup back in 2013. The Rough Riders team colors are green and white, and their mascot is Gainer the Gopher. Another one, hey, I don't know how it happened, but you gotta go for it. I don't know what that has to do with the Rough Rider. I'm sure there's some more history that we can jump into in another video on how that mascot came to be. But they play at the state of the art Mosaic Stadium, which was opened in 2017. I actually had the privilege to play in that stadium back when I was in college at the University of British Columbia versus the Regina Rams. Next up, we have the Winnipeg Blue Bombers based in Winnipeg, Manitoba, which has a storied history in the CFL with 11 Grey Cup championships. They're also the most recent back-to-back -back Grey Cup champs in 2019 and 2021. There's no 2020 there because the CFL had a canceled season in 2020. Their team colors are blue and gold and their mascots are Buzz and Boomer. 
The Blue Bombers play at the modernistic IG Field, which offers a fantastic game day experience and boasts one of the top dedicated fan bases in the league. Next up, we have where yours truly currently plays for the Hamilton Tiger Cats in Hamilton, Ontario, which has a very storied and rich history with eight Grey Cup titles, another seven if you are a CFL fan that counts the Hamilton Tigers, Flying Wildcats, and Alerts who merged together in 1950 to form what is the modern franchise of today. That would bring their total up to 15, but there are a lot of CFL fans out there that discount these wins. I'm not going to get in between. I'm going to say that we have 15, but let me know in the comments if you are a CFL fan that thinks that the Hamilton Tiger Cats do have 15 true Grey Cup wins, or if they only have the eight that are listed with the franchise since the 50s. Their team colors are the beautiful black and gold and white, and their mascots are TC, Stripes, and Pigskin Pete. The Tiger Cats play their games at the beautiful Tim Hortons Field, AKA the Donut Box, or what I recently heard as the Coffee Grounds, another play on words there. The stadium offers a very intimate and energetic atmosphere. If you ever get a chance to go, you gotta go see a Tiger Cats game, especially a Labor Day game versus the Argos. Their fan base is also often referred to as Tiger Town. And yes, some angry Argo fan will probably mention in the comments that the Tiger Cats currently hold the longest Grey Cup drought in the CFL dating back to the team's last Grey Cup win in 1999 as of the recording date of this video, which is about early May of 2023. And hopefully that'll change with the Grey Cup being hosted in Hamilton again this year for Grey Cup 110. Next up, we have the arch rival of the Hamilton Tiger Cats, the Toronto Argonauts, hailing from Toronto, Ontario, are the oldest professional sports team in North America. The caveat here is that they're the oldest North American professional sports team that is still using the same name. If you look at the Hamilton Tiger Cats, they were formed in 1869, which also has some other history there, but some people don't necessarily believe that that's when they originally formed. So again, a, a debate for another video. With 17 Grey Cup championships and also being the most recent Grey Cup victor in Grey Cup 109, the Argonauts team colors are blue and white and their mascot is Jason. They play at BMO Field, which is a multi-purpose field that also hosts the MLS soccer team, Toronto FC. Next up, we have the Ottawa Red Blacks based in Ottawa, Ontario. As the youngest team in the CFL, the Red Blacks have already made a name for themselves winning the Grey Cup in 2016. Their team colors are red, black, and white, and their mascot is Big Joe, big lumberjack that loves to cut trees down, I think. The Red Blacks play at the historic TD Play Stadium just next to the Rideau Canal in Ottawa, Ontario, our nation's capital. Next and lastly, we have the Montreal Alouettes based in Montreal, Quebec, are another prominent team in the CFL with seven Grey Cup championships. The Alouettes team colors are blue, red, and white, or navy, depending on what you really call blue. And their mascot is Touche the Lark. They play their home games at the historic Percival Molson Memorial Stadium, which is right in the heart of Montreal, a beautiful stadium to visit, to go watch a game in. It's just beautiful. They are also known for their very loud air horns that the fans bring in the stadiums. It makes for a very cool atmosphere as an opposing team playing the home team there. So those are your current nine teams in the CFL. There actually is a bonus team that could be coming into play here in the next couple years. There's been an ongoing discussion about the possibility of adding a 10th CFL team, which would level out the East and the West, which currently has five in the West and four in the East. This potential expansion team is often referred to as the Atlantic Schooners and would represent the provinces of New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland, and Labrador. The idea is to further grow the league's presence and fan base across Canada. However, there are still several medium-sized challenge hurdles, whatever you want to call it, to overcome, such as securing funding for a new stadium and ensuring the long-term financial viability of the team. There's been talks of a pop-up stadium being established at St. Mary's University in Halifax, Nova Scotia. While the idea of an Atlantic Canadian team is exciting for CFL fans, it remains uncertain when or if this expansion will come to fruition. But we are hoping on the side of optimism that this team will be here very soon rather than later.
with that being said thank you all so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed learning about the cfl and i hope from these nine teams or even maybe the 10th team you've been able to find your new fan base that you're going to cheer for in many cfl seasons to come and if you're interested in diving deeper into the history of each team, stay tuned for my upcoming video series where I'll explore the rich history and memorable moments of each CFL franchise. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with all of my latest content. God bless, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.